Good morning, STM. Mr. Juba here with some uh, great news. We got an exciting new uh, contest we're going to try today. So we're asking teachers and students to please pay attention to the following. Okay. We are going to create our first ever Tommy the Top Hat contest draw. Okay. So for those that are interested in participating, okay, we are asking teachers to do the following in their classrooms at some time during the announcements or afterwards. We'd like the teachers to compile a list of students that are adhering to the following. Students that were present in class today before the start of announcements. Students that are now dressed in full STM attire from head to toe, and this is including uh, footwear, all right, non-uniform sweaters. We don't want to see any uniform sweaters that are in the classrooms at all or dangling on the back of a chair or on the neck. This also includes spirit wear. Today is not a spirit wear day, okay? So again, any student that was on time before announcements in full STM attire, all right, has no sweaters dangling on the back of their uh, chairs or on their neck, all right, are eligible to win this draw. We are going to run this draw today at about 9.25, 9.30 at the end of period one. What does the winner of the draw win, you ask? How about $10 in calf coupons, okay? So there you go. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to let it rain today, everybody, all right? And... And to add some excitement to today, um, we are going to be walking around randomly, possibly giving out some cash to those that look like what we deem to be the excellent STM attire student, okay? So there you go, everybody. Help us help you. Let's win some cash. Good luck. Teachers, compile a list, send it down with a runner to the attendance office, and we'll make this draw today. Let's win some money, everyone. Good morning, STM. Just want to piggyback on the excitement of making it rain here at St. Thomas More. Uh, quickly, after school today, all people, uh, grade nines, who are interested in playing junior football next year, like I said a few times this week, very quick information session in the lecture hall, right after school, it will not be long, um, but get out there. Again, no experience necessary, obviously. Uh, we're gonna start from the ground up. If you've thought about it, even for a second, come on out, we're just trying to gauge a little bit of interest. Um, so we'll see you there after school in the lecture hall, STM, let's do it. Hey STM, yesterday a group of STM students acted as ambassadors for STM and for all of the West Mountain by participating in the Ward 14 Youth Council, which includes of City Hall and an opportunity to sit in on a meeting. Congratulations to Booney Gurmusa, Emma Burke, Shiza Sajid, and Georgia Oliver, who will continue to act as a voice for youth in the community. Thank you also to Ms. Burke for accompanying the students. Good morning, STM. My name is Sarah. And my name is Maria. And here are your announcements for today. The STM Ultimate Frisbee team is reminded of their practice after school today on the side field for next week's tournament. Students with any questions should see a coach. Don't forget STM. The last day to sign up for the cancer fundraiser relay is tomorrow. Games outside, t-shirts, great food, time spent with friends. It's going to be a great day, STM. Don't miss out. This is a message from your prefects with the academic tip of the week. Be patient and flexible. If certain time or stress management strategies don't work for you, try a different strategy. This is also a, remi a reminder that prefect tutoring will take place today in student success during your lunch. Craving a sweet treat? Prefects will be continuing to sell candy on all lunch periods. Cash only, please. All proceeds will be donated to Relay for Life to fund cancer research. And now for your sports. The junior boys soccer team played Cardinal Newman to a 2-2 draw yesterday. The boys played a great game. Goal scorers were Matteo Marconi and Diogo Rocha. In junior girls soccer action, the Knights defeated Cardinal Newman in a 2-0 victory yesterday in Stony Creek. The Knights dominated the game, which led to two impressive goals by co-captain Sadie D'Angela. The girls will take on BR Celtics next week in our final game before the playoffs. Congrats, girls. We're on our way. Thanks, STM. Yesterday, our girls' slow pitch team advanced to the semifinals against St. John de Verbeuf after finishing first in our pool. Our bats were on fire. We cashed in five runs per inning, shutting them down at the end of the fifth with a score of 21 to 11. St. Mary's won the other semifinal, so we faced them in the championship. In the first inning, we cashed in two runs into Mary's and matched us to an even score. 
Throughout the next four innings, our defense was able to shut down Mary's down with solid pitching from Emily Dunn. The girls communicated well and were able to hold off Mary's from cashing in more runs. After 33 long years, we are ecstatic to bring home the gold and shut down the reigning Giants with a convincing score of 19 to 9. Special mention to Jen DiMedeiros for her strength and accuracy in the left field, as well as Brooklyn Dawson as Rover. Solid defense from Sienna, Dakota, and Maeve in the infield. Our bats lit up the entire game. Maeve Lubensky cleared the bases with her grand slam and double. Juliana Jakubowski knocked in a homer, and Dakota Bertis hit a solid triple. Excellent performance from all. A special congratulations goes to our four seniors who are graduating this year. Jessica Marchese, Malia Gallant, Morella Runco, and Brooklyn Dawson. We would also like to thank our amazing coaches, Ms. Capito, Ms. LaPierre, and Ms. Fortino for giving us the ability to make this happen. It truly was nighttime. <laughs>